Good morning, friends. Welcome to Storytime. I'm Jennifer, and I'm one of the librarians here at Denver Public Library, and I'm at my home branch, which is Ross University Hills. I'm glad you could join us today. We're going to read a book about an elephant who learns to ride a bicycle. But before we do that, let's start with our hello songs. It's always nice to say hello to each other. This song uses a few American Sign Language signs, so we're going to practice those first, and then we will add our singing voices. So let's practice. The first sign is hello. It's like a salute. Hello. The second sign is friends, and we use our two pointer fingers to give hugs. Hug and hug. So hello, friends. Time, we're gonna tap our wrist, time. Say is to our chin and down. So we have hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Okay, now we're going to add our singing voices. Are you ready? Are you awake? Okay, me too, here we go. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Wonderful. Let's do that together one more time. Here we go. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Yay. Okay, we're going to read a book about Elena, the elephant who learns to ride a bike. This book is called Elena Rides by Juana Medina. And I wanted to point out that this book is a bilingual book. It's also in Spanish if you flip the book over. And if you come to our library locations, you will find books in lots of different languages, but especially in Spanish too. So if you're learning to speak Spanish or you speak Spanish at home, um, we have lots of resources for you. Okay, Elena Rides by Juana Medina. Did any of you try to ride a bike this summer? A two-wheeler? I know some of you might have those little scoot bikes where you're learning how to ride. Those are lots of fun. Elena wants to ride. Elena buckles her helmet. Let's buckle our helmets. Click. We want to keep our brain safe, right? When we're riding a bike. She readies. She steadies. She pushes. She pedals. She wobbles and bobbles. It's hard to learn how to ride a bike. You have to learn to balance. Oh no. Kabang! What happened to Elena? Yeah, she took a little tumble on her bike, didn't she? Oh, but she gets back up. Elena tries again. She tries and tries. Ka-plunk! Uh-oh, what happened? She took another spill. Elena cries. She bawls. Have you heard that word before? Bawls. It means to cry really hard. Let's pretend to cry like Elena. Uh, Elena sighs and sits a while. Elena dries her eyes. And look, her little red bird friend is helping comfort her. And tries and tries and tries. Elena slides. Elena glides. Look, she's doing it. She flies. She goes, she goes, goes, goes. Fast, fast, even faster. Crash. That's what it says right there. Crash. 
Elena does not ride. Elena says, no, no. Try again, Elena. You can do it. Oh, her little bird friend is encouraging her to get back on that bike and try again. Do you think she'll do it? I hope so. That's part of learning, isn't it? Trying again. Elena dusts off. Let's dust ourselves off. Get ready to ride. She goes up and down and all around. Elena rides. Yay, Elena. <laughs> and that's the end. She learned how to ride a bike. What happened to her when she was learning to ride? Do you remember? Yeah, she fell a couple times, right? Yeah, sometimes when you're learning something new, you have to keep trying. Okay, so I thought we would sing a little song. This one's about a wagon. It's called Bumping Up and Down in My Little Red Wagon. Um, adults, if you're home and you have a really tiny one, feel free to do this by holding them in your lap and you can bump up and down. Um, if you are more grown up than, than a little one, if you're maybe two or three or four or older, then feel free to just bounce on your own. Okay. Bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Now give yourself a squeeze. Won't you be my darling? Uh-oh, something's gone wrong. Our wheel fell off and our axle on our wagon is broken. The axle is the part that holds the wheels on. So we're gonna lean to the sides. Lean that way and then lean that way. <laughs> One wheel's off and the axle's broken. One wheel's off and the axle's broken. One wheel's off and the axle's broken. Won't you be my darling? Now let's fix our wagon so we can ride again. So get out your hammers. We're going to hammer our wheels back on. I'm fixing my wagon with my hammer. Fixing my wagon with my hammer. Fixing my wagon with my hammer. Won't you be my darling? Now let's go for a ride in our wagon one more time. Bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Won't you be my darling? Give yourself a big squeeze. Urgh. Good job. And now I have a song about a bicycle because Elena learned how to ride her bicycle. We're going to use some signs. Do you know what that might say? Go. It's got green. Sometimes you see these when you're driving down the street with some grown-ups. You might see green in a stoplight. It means go. And then if you see yellow, it means slow. And last, if you see red, do you know what that means? It means stop. Okay, so we're going to do this little song with go, slow, and stop in it. And you can pedal your bicycle at home if you want to like run in place at home, that's great. I have a little bicycle, I ride it to and fro. And when I see the light is green, I know it's time to go. Ride your bicycle, ride your bicycle. <laughs> I have a little bicycle, I ride around the town. And when the light is yellow, I know it's time to Slow down, go slower, pedal slower. Good. I have a little bicycle, I bought it at the shop. And when I see the light is red, I know it's time to stop. Okay, stop moving your body. Good, let's do that one more time. Get ready, hop on your bicycles, put on your bicycle helmet. Here we go. 
I have a little bicycle, I ride it to and fro. And when I see the light is green, I know it's time to go. Go, go, go! I have a little bicycle, I ride it round the town. And when the light is yellow, it's time to slow down. Okay, what do you think is next? Yeah. I have a little bicycle, I bought it at the shop. And when I see the light is red, I know it's time to stop. Good job. Nice job riding your bicycles. Okay. I have another little rhyme for you. This is about your face and your body. It's called On My Face. On my face, I have a nose. Can you point to your nose? And way down here, I have 10 toes. Can you touch both your feet? I have two eyes that I can blink. I have a head to help me think. I have a chin and very near, I have two ears to help me hear. I have a mouth from which to speak. And when I run, I use my feet. Here are arms to hold up high. Can you stretch? And here's a hand to wave goodbye. All right, and now we're really gonna wave goodbye. Get your waving hands ready. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We clap our hands for all our friends. We wave goodbye like this. Thank you for joining us for Toddler Storytime today. I hope you pop into some of our locations and check out our great resources. We have books that read aloud to you. We have books in lots of different languages. And of course, we all have great programming like story times. So we hope to see you soon. Hope you get out there and try something new today. All right, this is Jennifer signing off. Have a great day. Take care.